If you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another multi-part stranger mission. In this case, it's a bright, bouncing boy, and you meet this professor, Marco Drogic, who's kind of like a Tesla kind of figure, and he, you meet him in St. Denis demonstrating a model boat, electronic model boat, and then he invites you up to his laboratory, and well, again, like the mission that I posted, A Smell of Grease Paint, you have to, in order to kind of finally complete it, do something that there's no marker for, and eventually you will complete the mission. So let's get on with a bright, bouncing boy. As stated before in St. Denis, you meet Professor Drogic in the park demonstrating a remote-controlled boat for possible war purposes to investors. And let's get on with this. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ha! Waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. My <laughs> 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 hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <sighs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the boat. How you control the boat is up to you. Um, 
I just took it slowly, and once I got within focus of a battleship, I shot a torpedo. The toy boat can take a few hits before it sinks, but I blew up a few tor few of the uh, mines as well to get them out of my way. Again, you got to demonstrate this toy boat, and I'm just going to fast forward through it. How you do it is up to you. My advice, blow up some of the mines too, and take things very cautiously. So, again, I'm just going to fast forward through this. Let me just reload. <laughs> This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> now, the dim now you have to destroy sailboats and avoid mines. And again, the ship can take a few hits before it sinks, but you really don't want it to sink. And my advice is shoot some of the mines as well. <laughs> there, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel. Can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. <laughs> it is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. <clears throat> and I hope you will forgive my... Now, in order to visit Professor Drajnik again at his place, you have to do it under specific circumstances, which is it has to be a thunderstorm and it has to be at night. So, you got to wait around or do some camping before you can finally complete the next part of this mission. So, I'm going to shift over to that. When I arrived in front of Professor Drajnik's uh, lab, it was raining, but it was not night. So I slept seven hours until it was night, and hopefully the thunderstorm continued as it did. And now I could meet Professor Drajnik. And he is a Tesla like guy. And if you look at his lab it is exactly like one of Tesla's labs. Marco or Marco Drogic's uh lab is similar to Tesla's experimental station in Colorado Springs. There's kind of a, a direct look to it and again the thunderstorm is happening and I can ride over to Professor Drogic's lab it's nighttime and then we can continue on with the mission you can't enter the front door you have to walk around and go in the back door and then this second part of this mission will begin You did? Oh, 
You did. <laughs> In the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem and you mess it up. Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, what? Well, it, uh, it is uh, the geometry of life. Uh, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Uh, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filaments go solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rod, and we What you're going to do is follow the detector until you can plant the receptors that the professor gave you and the conductor or whatever he wants you to place. You're going to run around for a while. So I'm going to fast forward through all of it because you'll have to play through it. There is a chance that Mr. Morgan will get struck by lightning. Um, very slim, but it would be shocking if he did. Ha ha, right? So let's get back to the lab. Wonderful! <laughs> I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. Well, now, well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth, like this. Am I missing something? Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches, okay. Uh, climb up there. And adjust them for me. Go quick, please. Okay, once you get to the top of the tower, you have to play with switches. And it's somewhat frustrating to try and get the right combination and flip through. So once we get to the tower and he flips the switches, I'll fast forward through to the final combination.
Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000th. This is my life's work. It is incredible. What? I am so happy. <laughs> oh, you just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. Most people think this is the end of the mission, but the reality is if you return to Professor Marco Drogic's place at some point in the future and near future, you will find out what happened to him and, well, it's kind of grim and you can return at any point in time. Now, Professor Drojnik is dead, and unfortunately, I didn't record the first time I entered, and I was like, oh, man, I don't want to have to do redo certain things. I periodically put some saves in the game in case I screw up, but in this case, I didn't. He leaves notes around his lab if you investigate explaining what happened. And he finally got his bouncing bright boy or whatever to work. And, well, it killed him. And, again, this is not really the true ending. Because if you go to the city or the town, the abandoned town, where at the start of Red Dead Redemption, your gang... Uh, waited out winter in Coulter, the bouncing baby boy is nearby and you can walk up into the mountain area to find him. So I'm going to show you the final location of the bouncing bright baby boy or whatever it is once I get Arthur out of here and back on his horse. Outside around the tower, there are a few things you can pick up as well. I'm going to cut to where Arthur starts to look for the robot outside of Coulter. And I'm just going to cut over to that. Once you get into the mountain outside of Coulter, you'll notice some tracks that the bouncing bright baby boy made and you start following those tracks up to his location on the mountain.
Now the robot doesn't really do much. His location is right here and it is just up the mountain and to the west of Coulter as you can see. And yeah, you got to get to Coulter and if you fast travel you can walk west and you will see the robot. Again, he doesn't do much of anything except beat. And that's it. You have found the robot. You found out what happened to the professor. And I guess you could say the final mission is complete. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment. If you enjoy this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you won't miss out when I post videos. I'm leaving an actual, how shall I say, special bit of clip after this, so stay tuned and thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.